All right, welcome back everyone to another cigar review. My name is John, aka Cigar Alchemist, and tonight I'm really excited to be reviewing and showcasing to you all the new Bronzeback Umbagog from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. So a lot of y'all already probably know the story of the Umbagog. Uh, it's a favorite location of Mr. Steve Saka fishing spot, which is why I have a green fishing shirt on. See, get it? Right. He named it after that. He wanted kind of a rugged, budget-friendly cigar. It's getting less budget-friendly as time goes on. Inflation sucks. But yeah, Steve really wanted just like a really good outdoor kind of cigar, rugged cigar, but still flavorful, still potent. And so, yeah, he created the Umagog. This bronze back is just a new kind of expression of the Umagog. So Nicaraguan binder and fillers. And then there's a new broadleaf wrapper on this. Steve calls it a 2LS, which I guess it's a little bit of a lower priming leaf on the plant than they typically use for Connecticut broadleaf. And this thing is apparently supposed to be a little bit of a spicier punch of a cigar, uh, is what I read. So we'll see if that's true. I know Matt loved this thing, so it can't be too spicy. But to get into it real quick, y'all, I'll show you a close-up while I go over the specs. This thing is a 5x48 Rothschild size. I love a 48 ring gauge. It's perfect size in my opinion. And like I said, it is Nicaraguan binder and filler with Connecticut broadleaf on the wrapper. It's a beautiful looking cigar. Has that kind of nice rugged look to it. Sort of like a burnt caramel color and then yeah you have this nice typical green umagog band but instead it is this sort of goldish bronze lettering all right y'all so just a few puffs in uh it's a good cigar so far smooth not a ton of complexity yet there's definitely spice for sure so that's the first thing out of the gate there's absolutely a punch of spice through the nose on this Besides that, medium earth, just a nice kind of light to medium tobacco core, touch of coffee. Yeah, just that's it so far. Like I said, though, just a few puffs into this thing. But yeah, let's get further down into the first third of this thing, and I'll see y'all there. Really, really good. Surprisingly good. I will tell y'all, at the beginning, after I signed off after light up, man, it was really, really peppery through the through the retro hail, man. I don't, Matt, I don't know how you survived this one, man. This one got me more than I feel like. Uh, I, I can't remember the last time there was this much spice on a cigar for me. Um, we've calmed down now, thank God. <laughs> it was a lot. It was punchy, man. This is a really good cigar, man. I'm really enjoying it. So, construction's perfect i mean i'll show you all the burn line in the ash just had a just had a really nice stack of ash fall off unfortunately flavor wise getting just a really nice medium tobacco core kind of a medium earth it's very smoothed out it's not super bitter there is a touch of bitter coffee like bitter roasted coffee there's an oakiness there's an oak wood underneath that There's citrus to the cigar, man. Something about the Nicaraguan filler in this is, is bringing out a bright citrus note for me. Really enjoyable. And then there is a touch of sweetness to the cigar. Matt from Cigar Hound Dog said he got kind of like a pecan sweetness. I could see someone getting that for sure. I'm struggling to pin this down. For me, it is kind of like a nutty sweetness. Sometimes it's a light kind of caramel sweetness or creamy sweetness. It's just somewhere along the lines of that side of the spectrum for sweetness if y'all will there is a touch of baking spice it's barely there now um and i've had just slight slight hints of leather at times not every draw but uh yeah i'm really enjoying this cigar so far this is what i expect from dunbarton man so we'll see how it develops in the second third i'll see y'all there all right, y'all, I got the ash stack this time, performing beautifully, perfect construction. Flavor-wise, the cigar, it's good, man, it's complex. It's taking me on a bit of a journey, so uh, it's becoming 
a bit more like savory there's almost like a bit of vegetal earth now to this cigar so i'm still getting a really nice medium tobacco core medium earth with a little bit of a vegetal characteristic to it still getting a little bit of that citrus and a touch of that sweetness but that sweetness is starting to drop back very much behind the earthiness yeah it, it really is kind of this nice nutty sweetness i will say um not too much of that oak wood the roasted a little bit of bitter coffee still there very much in the background so yeah hopefully the cigar remains worth it through the final third let's find out i'll see y'all there all right y'all we're in the final third of this umbagog bronze back here is the burn line in the ash everything construction wise has remained the same it's been pretty much flawless so flavor wise not too much change now from the second third um, some of the flavors are becoming a little bit just more muted or or just dropping off so still getting a really rich very pleasant medium earth medium tobacco core a touch of that vegetal earthiness is still there there's a touch of that sweetness that's still there it's kind of like a nice light caramel sweetness orange citrus is still there and some of that baking spice is still there so yeah, overall, just a very balanced cigar, very pleasant. And I gotta say, I really like the size of this thing. I like the Rothschild size. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you all my final thoughts and a final rating. So overall, this is a medium plus body and I would say medium plus strength cigar. Um, this is a punchier cigar, man. So yeah, it's medium plus close to full uh, for me, at least in terms of strength. So it, it definitely packs a bit of a punch, which I like. Final thoughts on this thing great value for the cigar it offers a complex experience there's a subtle transition here in the middle of the cigar which i appreciate and the flavors present a nice balance between sweet and earthy with a little bit of savory which i appreciate and they all mix together very very well also too man the construction on these things like dude steve really nailed this thing uh if, if you're looking for a cigar that you can take outside and go fishing at lake umbagog great cigar so to give this thing a final rating, I'm rating the Umbagog Bronzeback in Rothschild a recommended rating. Recommended because it didn't necessarily blow me away, but it is a very good cigar. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a good cigar. It's a good cigar for the price, but I would say this thing punches above its weight. Um, this thing, it easily hangs in there with some great cigars in the 12 to 14 dollar price point in my opinion so you get a lot out of it great construction high quality tobacco you can really tell that it's quality tobacco when you're smoking it and it presented very nice flavors that i enjoyed a lot quick shout out to matt from cigar hound dog for sending me this one i forgot to mention it at the beginning of this video thank you matt I appreciate it that's it for me tonight y'all if you like the video please consider liking commenting and subscribing it really does help support me in this channel you can now support me on patreon i am going to start doing monthly gives away here soon so if you're interested i'll share the link here and it's also in the description and i appreciate anyone willing to consider supporting me and this channel other than that make sure to not miss our next infamous smoke show live stream we have moved them to the channel only so make sure to Follow us and subscribe at Infamous Smoke Show. I appreciate y'all joining me tonight, and I'll catch you next time.